So another key theme is circular economy. Can you maybe explain what circular economy includes? Yeah, so for us, it largely includes waste and water. Um, so any company that helps us basically reuse and recycle what we have today to put less pressure basically on, on, on the, uh, the, the sustainability of the planet. Um, so for us, that involves a lot of trash management companies, so recycling companies, um, renewable natural gas companies, hazardous waste companies as well. Hazardous waste is obviously a big problem, um, and there's a large sort of um, opportunity for companies that help clean that up. Uh, and then on the water side as well, so companies that basically help us improve the infrastructure. There's a lot of obviously leakage of water, um, as well as obviously physical impacts of climate change, drought, etc. So companies that can help basically um, at least in the gate, the impact of extreme weather um, uh, in, in, the, in the water space in particular. So think about companies that do piping and things like that. So real infrastructure type, type, of, type of companies with, a, with that sort of tailwind for, for growth from, um, from that spend as you basically pull out, you know, there's even lead pipes still a lot. Um, so companies are involved in sort of pulling that out, disposing of that, and then obviously companies involved in um, in, in producing plastic pipe, often re recycled plastics as well. So those are the type of, of names that we like. And so with the waste side, is it both retail and industrial waste or just retail? It's both, yeah. yeah. So within sort of municipal waste, um, there's companies that pick up your trash and then within the landfill, before it gets to landfill, hopefully recycle and sort that, return it to some of the big CPG companies, like your Coke and Pepsis and so forth. I return that plastic to them to be recycled. Um, and there's a good there's good business in that. Um, on that side as well, you know, green waste um, within the landfill rather than sort of flare the gas, uh, try to capture the gas and then put it back into the grid uh, or use it to power the power the trucks or something like that. Um, on the industrial side, there are, um, particularly in the US, there's a big sort of, um, you know, chemical industry, um, oil and gas industry. Um, and so that often means that there's uh, chemicals that need to be basically um, incinerated. Um, beyond that, there's companies involved in recycling oil and things like that. So I think going around to the body shops, uh, uh, sorry, the, uh, the, the mechanical shops, collect all the oil and, and, and re recycle it, um, create green oil. So those are the type of companies that we're, we're interested in. They're often sort of under the radar. Uh, when you sort of think climate, you probably don't think about some of these type of things. You're probably more thinking solar panels, wind turbines, electric vehicles. Um, what we're trying to do is, you know, find the less obvious things. Um, so yeah, those circular economy stocks often fly below the radar.